Welcome to our video on understanding race conditions in parallel computing. In this video, we'll explore the concept of race conditions, their consequences, and techniques to prevent them. Let's dive in. Firstly, what are race conditions? Race conditions occur in parallel computing when multiple tasks success and modify shared resources simultaneously. It's like a race where different tasks compete to access the resource, and the order of their execution becomes crucial. Secondly, the importance of understanding race conditions. Understanding race conditions is crucial for efficient and reliable parallel computing. When race conditions occur, they can lead to unpredictable and incorrect results. Thirdly, Explaining race conditions. Imagine a scenario where multiple tasks are accessing and modifying a shared resource simultaneously. As these tasks run in parallel, they can interfere with each other, leading to conflicts and unexpected outcomes. This interference can result in race conditions. Fourthly, Consequences of race conditions. Let's explore some consequences of race conditions. For instance, if two tasks are simultaneously modifying the same variable, they may overwrite each other's changes, leading to corrupted data. Similarly, inconsistent ordering of tasks can produce incorrect results, impacting the integrity of the program. Fifthly, Techniques to prevent race conditions. To prevent race conditions, synchronization techniques are essential. One such technique is the use of locks, which allow only one task to access a shared resource at a time. Other techniques include semaphores, mutexes, and critical sections, which ensure proper coordination and order of operations among tasks. Sixthly, Tips for avoiding race conditions. To avoid race conditions in your programs, follow these tips. Identify critical sections of code where shared resources are accessed. Implement proper synchronization techniques such as locks or semaphores. Test your code thoroughly to identify and resolve any potential race conditions. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on parallel computing.